So today is the 19th and that is mine and my wife's Kim's 10 year anniversary. The third was three years married and today is 10 years being together and the wife is going to try to make up for our third year anniversary fluke which was going to a red lobster that is no longer open <laughs> sorry Bev so now we're going to attempt this again you got it now let's go At least it's sunny now. It wasn't sunny earlier today. It was foggy and misty. Oh, hello bicycle rider. We're gonna wait for you to go. definitely tell that uh, there's another rider on here but my little 250 can do it and she has no idea that I'm vlogging right now or at least what I'm saying oh didn't make it on the green arrow just fine I have that car. I traded up to a 2016 version. Oh, forgot to turn off the turn signal. Oh, I love to ride. So today I went to uh, my church's uh, men's breakfast function. Which was nice, I mean, it was a really cold ride. Very misty, I had to wipe my windscreen and, I'm sorry, my visor and my, and the GoPro camera over and over and over and over. But it was a, it was just mundane ride, just on the freeway. And once we got out, once I got off the freeway, it was pretty nice, it was up in the, up like North Newberry Park. Really nice scenery, really, uh, I don't know, mountainy community. But, uh, you know, worship was fun and breakfast was good and, but that was like a long time ago today, so. We're heading to Red Lobster to get our grub on. Which should be fine. Only if my sister would stop Snapchatting me so I can see the freaking directions. That's alright, once I get off the freeway I'll I'll check. I can't really see the directions on my phone with that dang notification. Let's go by. Ooh. I like that uh, Tacoma up there. It's got that uh, off roady Baja feel to it. But I really, I don't. I don't know, most people I say like that, I don't really think they actually go off or anything, they just do it because it looks cool, and, I mean, it does look cool, I think it looks cool, but like those two spare tires in the back, I don't really think they would use them, if anything, they would just switch them out when it's time to switch them out, it's, 
I don't know, it's the people that you see taking those trucks like on trailers. You know, those are the true uh, enthusiasts of uh, the whole Baja off-road sport. You know, because their trucks aren't even street legal. You know, like that guy has a street legal Tacoma, but it's all off-roady. Which I don't even understand sometimes. Like, I know, like... I think it's illegal to modify your truck to a certain extent or your vehicle, like suspension-wise or drivetrain. But I think the law is so vague and loose term that I don't think there's any, uh... Anybody that really enforces it, kind of like on my bike, like in the state of California, I'm not allowed to mess with the exhaust. And I think uh, Yoshimura, I think that's what it's called, I don't know, some Japanese brand makes this like the only brand that I, that I know of, at least that makes a muffler exhaust system legal for bikes in California. Granted, I, I have altered my exhaust system. I mean, it's technically it's still the same physical exhaust. It's just been altered to make it uh, louder because it's very, very quiet with all these alterations. Unfortunately, there you can't undo them. But, you know, whatever modifications I made to the exhaust stay modified. But uh, I did find this one brand, or this one company that makes a full system exhaust, full exhaust systems, including a muffler for my bike. I just think it's overpriced. And it does save uh, weight because these mufflers and exhaust system that I have on my bike are really really heavy but uh, I don't know we'll see I don't know it's it's weird it's like I know I want another bike but I can't get another bike yet and if I try selling this one I'm, I'm gonna lose on it but then again I don't think you ever win on any type of automobile or or bike so I don't know there's like a lot I have to consider and I think I'd rather get my wife a uh, bike before I do whether it be the 125Z from Kawasaki or the Honda Grom I don't know. You know, I, I think I think I I think I'd rather I think I'm gonna have to invest more money into this bike. To I mean, I've already put a little bit of money into it to modify it or to make it more me, and so I like it more because I, I truly see myself having this bike for quite a bit of time before I either can or decide to upgrade. But, uh, but you know, then there's also that you never know what could happen. I might end up having a, end up getting another bike and then whatever money I put into this will be essentially gone. I don't know, it's, it's a dilemma, to say the least, not really that crazy of a thing. But I definitely need to pull over and fix my phone, because I can't even see my phone now. I know the wife's probably thinking, what the hell's he doing? Hold on, babe. Just gotta 
Alright, sent me another snap and I can't see the screen and just gotta adjust this, close, raise this. Are you kidding me? It's already to the highest screen. Okay, so now let's do that. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Hold on. I want to see where I'm going to be turning. Roscoe Boulevard and then Fallbrook Avenue. Alright, so resume. You alright? Okay. Alright. Roscoe Boulevard, take a right. And then a left on Fallbrook. Oh, it's a good thing I didn't go. I was thinking about going in front of that semi truck. Oh no! Motherfucker. Slide it, unlock it. Thank you. I need a, uh, I really need to get that Cena headset and that Cena GoPro Bluetooth microphone thing, and I really need to just connect it all so I can listen to the Bluetooth directions instead of trying to look down at it. Maybe I should just get one of those phone holders that hold the, the phone right here in my forks. I just don't really trust those. I mean, I guess it shouldn't be that bad considering that I'm not off-roading on the bike. It's all street and surface, so it should be fine. But it's just hard for me to conceive putting such an expensive device to the trust of whatever. Look, a police. Why did my phone lock again? It's my favorite time. Why is it my favorite time? Cause I get to go in between cars. Like this. I like to go in between cars. And then you got people that try to stop you.
they're just mad, man. I don't even know why. Like in California over here, it's legal to split lanes. And when it comes to a red light, I would advise any rider out there to, even if you don't go to the front, at least get in between two cars. That way, if you got some asshole behind you who isn't paying attention, you don't get pinched between him and the car in front of you. I mean, you would think it's basic, you know, common sense, but it's it's actually not common sense, and it's it's bad practice, man. If you guys can see it in the video or not, but you can definitely tell on the surface of the road where the tire treads of the cars don't touch. Typically, the center of the lane, you see there's like a dark mark or a dark tint to it, which is pretty much oil and all whatever other crap falls from people's cars or is leaking. It's also advised never ride in the middle of the lane. You don't want to they would call uh, slip on any of that material. Hey look, it's Roscoe. Thank you for nothing, GPS. My head gets itchy and I can't scratch my head so I move my helmet around. Well if you're gonna turn, turn. Wow, let's put our turn signal back from way yonderville. I think I used to work here. I've definitely worked around here. And look, look what I'm doing. Yeah, I worked over there. I think I got hurt over there. I think that was like my first on-the-job injury or second. Yes, I'm right on your ass. Yes. Go, old man, go. Thank you for moving. want to go to your garage sale. No. Hey Kim, he wants us to go to his garage sale. Hey look, you want to go? Turn right. indulge the man and taking my attention for a garage sale. Ooh, that lady had really gray hair. I got gray hair. I think the wife gave it to me. Talk. 
Taco Bell, that's not where I want to go. But I will go in between the lanes because this lady doesn't know what she's doing. And she's stuck at a red light. Hey, look, reptiles for sale. No, thank you. No, thank you. Just waiting for the train or the bus. Eight miles left to go. And you shall go ra her ra And it's disgusting. Let's go put let's paint our cars primer because we can't afford a decent paint job. Because I can't afford the clear coat. Coit. Oh look green light, let's go. People waiting for the bus. I don't know, I feel privileged. I mean, goodbye. Like, I don't have a house. I rent an apartment, but I got a truck, a car, motorcycle. So yeah, I, I mean, I do feel lucky. You know, granted, there's always wants, but there's no needs. Hey look, Red Lobster! Hey hon! They're open! Yeah, she took me to Red Lobster that was closed. I don't even know, is this a lane? This fucking lady. Seriously? Wow. Like completely oblivious to everything around her. Look, I'm Hispanic, but that bitch is probably illegal as fuck. Oh, shouldn't say that. Pastor might find my, my recordings, my blogging. Bitch is crazy. Look at that guy. Or maybe that's the way you're supposed to park. I don't know how you're supposed to park here. Maybe like that? Oh, compact. Hey Kim, I think we qualify for compact. Just saying. Backing it up, backing it up, backing it up. Oh, backing it up, backing it up, backing it up. This is like stupid. This is like smart car compact. So we made it to Red Lobster, which is good. Alright guys, so that was a, an amazing uh, Red Lobster dinner. Now it's time to... Uh, go home. We are going to take uh, a canyony road. It's called uh, Box Canyon Road.
and a fellow rider over there. Is a, a loud truck. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get something for the phone on the handlebar. Lady's done. She was a Romney follower. Definitely want to get away from that chick. She's old. Romney follower. Probably has a couple guns inside her car, too. I'm afraid she's gonna like rear end me. Especially because bitches be crazy. That one. That guy wasn't too happy. But I'm on a bike, so I can get in front of him. Of course, my wife didn't have lobster because uh, she doesn't like seafood. She had a chicken breast. Habanero, honey habanero sauce, or garlic habanero sauce, and uh, and some of my broccoli that came with my dish, of course. She had to pick out the broccolis to make sure that they didn't touch the lobster, because that would be gross and she wouldn't eat it. And uh, my dish did come with a uh, salad but it has to be Caesar no, I'm sorry it has to be anything but Caesar because Caesar dressing has anchovy paste in it and damn you Google for telling her that and also Google also told her that uh, beef broccoli has oyster sauce so now guess what she won't eat beef broccoli because it has oyster sauce. Damn you, Google. Especially because me and the wife share everything. So, the simple fact that we can share the dish today means that I have leftovers. But I don't know how good lobster that's reheated will taste. But it owes. Green light, let's go. Like I said, it's nice to be able to rip into the gears. Honestly, full throttle it. And not worried about dying. Essentially. But. Hi, Brent, Virginia. Do 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 do. Uh, do 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 do. Pick your lane, Tacoma. Where do you wanna go? seat to make sure we don't bottom out. And a change in lanes. The wife doesn't like it when I 
do the serpentine or whenever I abruptly change lanes, I, fierce, I feel her squeezing me even more. It's all good though. Honestly, I don't think I've done too much. Uh, I did some canyon roads with her on the back, like Grimes Canyon. But I used to live in Fillmore, so driving Grimes Canyon twice a day, sometimes even three times a day, granted in a vehicle, is different than in a car, in a motorcycle. But it was, you know, I know the road. There are blind spots. Valley Circle Boulevard. Uh, but hopefully this won't be... Uh, I've, I've driven this canyon road. I kinda, I'm kind of hoping I get, a, get stuck behind a car so that way I don't have to worry about any... Uh, the line spots, essentially. Okay, Box Canyon Road. You ready? You ready? Dun, 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 dun. It's not up that way. Ooh. Green pastures. Where are all the cattle at? So we're going to be turning left and we're going to stop here and then go. But it's not up here. Oh, the rich people live away from downtown Simi Valley. Like look at the size of that freaking house. Unbelievable. There's pros and cons to everything, like, I don't think I would want to live so far from see me. You know, every trip to see me to the grocery store would be a freaking mission. We've always been bad at filling up our pantry. We don't even have a pantry, you know? And, uh, I don't know, we seem to go to the grocery store, like, three or four times a week, it seems. You know, it's hard to plan out meals, especially when you have picky kids. But, I don't know. I don't worry about the ifs and whatabouts and buts and, and whatever. And one, two, three, go. Is this it? Yeah. Actually, I think I took a wrong turn. There you are, neutral. Nope. I guess after this, I'm gonna turn left onto Box Canyon Road. I think I went the wrong way! I've been on 
this road before by accident but this is not the road home this is a road to wild and craziness which I haven't taken on my own yet so I don't want to take the wife on here yet Just myself. Let's go, baby. You can do it. At least the speed limit's 30. Look at this guy working on his yard. Look at this guy hired to do gardening and they're Mexican. Uh, Strap people. Mexicans. We we freaking seed it. We plant it. We grow it. We pick it. We clean it. We ship it. We freaking wash it and we serve it. Then once it's all served then we freaking pick up your plates. We wash your plates. Ah oh, man we feed California baby. And plus, I'm not a, you know, super fan of immigrants, per se. I mean, I think if they've been here for generations, then bug it. They've been here already. They're not leaving. Just, you know, whatever. But if you really think about it, they're doing jobs that you don't want. Well, they're doing jobs that I don't want. You know, I don't want to, you know, be out in the field and, planting stuff and growing stuff. I don't want to do that. And God bless them for doing it. But that's just not something I would want to do. Come on, baby. Ooh. Yeah, I can definitely feel that. I wouldn't mind having a little bit more power, maybe. 400 more soy soyas. Ooh, hurdy. Don't get distracted. Bust. Ride safely. And protect the precious cargo I got back there. The wifey. She's precious to me. I kind of like this blog and stuff. Let's just rant about whatever. Ooh, look, do you hear that? Third gear. Yeah, oh, gonna have to take it down a bite. Cause I got some 10 mile an hour twist is coming up. Ooh, second gear. Feel that engine brake. Oh, come on, baby, lean with me. And we're stuck. 
behind some gardeners, hurrah, hurrah. Look at all the rocks formations, hurrah, hurrah. That's some pretty stuff. Yes. First gear. Yes. Second gear. That's some pretty rocks. This is to my family over there in Texas where they don't have any of this. It's like flat. It's like a freaking tortilla over there. Over here now. This is pretty. We're just lucky we've got some rain this winter and hopefully we'll get some more rain in spring. Keep it green. Keep it pretty. Because I mean, imagine the color of these rocks. But just everywhere. Yeah, apart from some trees or some drought resistant bushes but other than that like no flowers no grass and just it wouldn't be barren I mean you'd have a there's a lot of plants here that are thriving right now because of the water that we're surviving because of no water so oh pussy he was afraid to wave at me he's like oh no twisties I need both hands Simple nod would have sufficed, asshole. Then you got these guys up here. I don't know what they're doing. Dumping. Oh, they got the... Look at what they got. Very nice. Yes. I feel it killing my nuts. I should really use these fucking rubber pads that I bought. All they're doing is rising up my... Oh, look, there's the tunnel. Jump break in. 